So for example, if we uh, post a fixed asset acquisition in 2023, and then after two or three periods in the same year, we found out this issue, we can easily correct the fixed asset master data and maintain eight years uh, in the place of four. So we'll correct the useful life in the asset master data. And then SAP in the same fiscal year will adjust the depreciation postings to correct the annual depreciation. So we'll actually take all the difference in depreciation and post it in the current fiscal year. So the financial entries will be different in this case than when we discover the problem in the same year of the acquisition. So today in the video, I will show you the financial entries and I will explain them. So the financial entries that, uh, that will be generated in both of these cases. So when we try to correct the depreciation value in the same fiscal year of acquisition, or we try to correct the depreciation value in future years. And also I will show you how to perform both of these in SAP S4HANA. Again, this process is called fixed asset depreciation write-up which is different from the fixed asset acquisition value write-up that I explained in the last video.